What's up guys, this is Feder with 3D Print SOS. Today I wanna to give you a quick tip on how to level your printer live while it's printing the first layer. This is gonna be much easier to do after you've already leveled your printer with a piece of paper and help you kind of visually see when you actually get a good uh, layer adhesion and what a good first layer looks like. I got my printer all heated up in the background over there. I'm gonna be showing you how to do this on the Quilla 3D printer by VoxLab, but this also applies to the Ender 3 V2s by Creality. All right, I'll see you guys at the printer. All right guys, I got the bed nice and hot at 65, the tip at 200. I'm gonna go ahead and start a print. And the reason I'm not giving you an STL is I think you should be doing this with your own STL that you actually want to print. Less waste and a more realistic example of, uh, of, uh, of leveling. So I went ahead and uh, leveled this bed with a piece of paper. I went ahead and wiped it down with isopropyl alcohol. I've even tried a print here to see how this whole thing would work. Um, and uh, basically you may want to make sure your bed has zero wobble, that's hot, careful. Uh, make sure it has zero wobble, there's wheels on the bottom that can be adjusted. Uh, you want to make sure that your belts have proper tension on them and that your springs are in the middle of their travel. If not, you can uh, put the springs in the middle on all four corners and bring down the sensor right over here with uh, two allen keys that are on the side. But essentially what we're doing here is we're starting a print and we're going to be watching how it is laying down. So I'm gonna get all the way down here and nothing's coming out right now. But what I can see right off the bat is that the, the filament is being laid on top of the um, print bed there and it's almost printing in the air, which automatically means this is gonna be too high. Essentially, you can kind of tell uh, the, by the little skips here, and I'll bring you in closer when I have more. So once this thing starts to do multiple passes, you'll really be able to see um, it, at what level this thing is, if it's, if it's good or not. Right now, in my opinion, this is just a hair high. So I can see that the uh, layers are a little bit separated, and I'm gonna call that noodling. Basically, you don't want separate noodles laying next to each other. You want it to be one uh, layer essentially. The other bad side, if this was too close, you would get skipping and you would be able to see right through the filament. Right now the filament is uh, nice um, nice and not see-through. All right, so what, I'm gonna, what I need to do is I need to bring the bed slightly upward. If you look at the wheels here, it shows you which direction to spin uh, to bring the bed where. So it is saying if I go clockwise, it is going to bring the bed uh, up. So let's go ahead and do that. And I can see it's already squeezing. And I did three tiny turns on all of them evenly, and I'm gonna continue to watch. All right, so it did bring it down, and I can actually see a little bit of bubbling. And what that means is the nozzle is now so close that the filament has nowhere to go, and it's coming out of the sides. And if it's going to do this, it's going to push the filament up and uh, essentially pop it all up, and it's going to peel. So this is an example of going a little bit too low. So I'm going to go up now, or down now with the bed, which is in a, a counterclockwise direction. Let's see. I'm gonna go one solid turn on all four. There we go. And I'm gonna continue to watch. All right, I can see that the nozzle is no longer in the air when it's uh, putting filament down. And that is looking pretty good. Let's give it one more rotation. Another thing you can do, and I'll go ahead and do this to show you guys, is really carefully peel this up. You don't want to gouge anything. And just remove it while it's printing. And now we'll be able to see a nice fresh example of what this looks like. So yeah, essentially I don't want it printing in the air and I don't want it to be squeezing all the way into the bed. And I can see that it's a little bit high in that corner. This corner looked good. This corner is a little tiny bit high. Yeah, this direction, counterclockwise. And that is looking good. Let me bring you guys in show you what it looks like. All 
All right, do you guys see how that layer is essentially one solid layer? They're not separate. Okay, this is also good. You see how you see these uh these little ripples here? Let the head pass so I can show you. Try to focus on it a little bit. Okay, you see these ripples? That means it's too close to the bed, and the filament's trying to go from the edges of the uh, of the filament. Let me set you guys back up here for a second, and let's make the tweaks. You want that to be smooth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the bed down. until we'd no longer see that anymore. And you're gonna have to uh, let it uh, spin around a couple times here because it is squishing into the filament next to it so you will be seeing uh, a, a cascading effect, so to say, of those ripples. There you go, and it looks really good on the left side now. And on the right side. Let me bring you guys in and show you what's going on. All right, so as you can see, right in the middle there, where it looks a little sloppy, it was actually too low. And what was happening was that filament was trying to squeeze out of the sides. But now, on that inside line, you can see we got nice uniform layers. And it is looking good. All right. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let it run for a little while. And uh, I'll show you when there's a little bit more filament on the bed. See you guys soon. All right, guys, so a little bit more filament went down and I wanted to get you in here to show you what ended up happening. So this is a pretty good example of a very decent first layer here. And there's still some issues here and there, but this is something you can fix by doing this live leveling. Um, so while it's doing this backside over here, and we'll get a peek of what's going on there, let me show you what happened here. So at first we were so close, we were not getting anything and we were getting skipping on the extruder. And then when we lifted everything up a little bit higher, we started getting filament, but it was still way too close. And you can tell by this rippling that was going on, essentially filament coming out the side of the nozzle. And if it looks this sloppy, it means you're a little bit too close. So this, when it got real smooth, as you can see here, this was actually by us moving um, the bed uh, down some. And you can see it's not noodling. Let me get you a little bit closer. It didn't noodle. They're not separate layers with gaps in between. It kind of merged into one. And that's that's uh, how you know that it's a good layer. And then, and then uh, when looking here at this nice and solid piece, you can tell that it's smooth looking. It's uniform. There is a little gap right here which uh, could have been a number of little issues, but that's, that's beside the point. I would consider this a very good first layer. Um, let's look at what's going on over here. So up here, we didn't have to adjust much because uh, while we were adjusting it for this, uh, it was also being adjusted here. And you can see this is nice and uniform. Very little bubbling going on. And it is a pretty good level. guys so hopefully that helps you a little bit and you got a better understanding of how to do a live leveling during a print um, if you mess with it a whole bunch just to get it to where it is don't be afraid to just peel that up and start over at least you guys have gotten it much closer like I said if you've tightened your belts if you tighten those wheels if you've lowered that Z a little bit to make sure your springs are halfway um, or even a little bit lower you should be getting consistent results or at least a little bit more consistent than what you were now and uh, there is a little bit of a learning curve to this whole thing you know your 
bed has to be super clean. If you guys wanna try something else, you can uh, flip your bed to the smooth glass uh, and try it there. And if you have an important print, you just cannot be wasting all this film and time leveling, try a little bit of glue stick, not too many layers, maybe just one simple layer and see if it sticks down. Um, I personally don't like using adhesives, but I have used them in the past uh, when I really needed to get a print layer, uh, when, I, when I needed to get a print done and I just couldn't get it uh, to stick for one reason or another. So hopefully this got you a little bit closer. Uh, if you guys found this useful, give it a like. If you guys uh, know that this will help somebody else, share the video. I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And I'll see you guys down there. Have a good one.